Hello everybody, welcome to the Hokkaido of Singapore. So today I came to Pongo. Uh, what I want to show in this video is that um, I think I found Indonesia in Singapore, not Hokkaido. Well, it's, it is a Hokkaido too, but um, I found Indonesia in Singapore. So I want to introduce it to you. Let's do it. Hi, hi. Nice How you doing? You. Nice to see you too. Yeah. Where are you guys going to? Okay, enjoy. So there's two major ways to get to Singapore's Indonesia. But um, my recommended route is to go left. So everybody when they, when they come to Pungo and when they cycle, like me, uh, they like to uh, cycle along the, the waterway. Um, so they'll go at the mall and they'll turn right but I recommend turning left then you'll eventually come here uh, I believe that that road takes you to Senkang but um, unfortunately Indonesia is not there you want to go left here go over the bridge and you're greeted with this beautiful view this area of Singapore really feels unreal I mean like you don't see any buildings over there. I don't know what's over there, but it looks like pure nature. And check out the water, so beautiful. So beautiful here, so peaceful, so calm. I mean, just look at the water. I can't believe this is Singapore, man. So I'm really into cycling and I've cycled a lot in Singapore. I went to the east, the west, uh, the north, McRitchie, uh, east coast, and of course, uh, Pungo. But the place I'm going today is one of my favorites. You're, you're gonna love it too. And this is why I took this route. Check it out, it's the sea. I love the smell of the sea. Unfortunately, it's a bit hot still. It's, it's only like 3 p.m. But um, check out the, the view from here. It's, it's phenomenal. But it does get better in a bit. So let's continue. Continue our exploration of Pungo. To a foreigner like me, this is the kind of view that kind of interests me because it's not on any guidebooks, of course. Uh, I don't see it on YouTube. Like, who knew the northeast coast of Singapore looks like this? Pretty interesting. You see that? We're almost there. Okay, and we're here. Coney Island, the Indonesia of Singapore. Let's go inside. Okay, so welcome to Coney Island. Uh, I shot some videos here. Uh, you might you might know it. It's so beautiful. It's like a forest at the entrance here. Lots of wildlife. Uh, sometimes you can see uh, monkeys, and I, I think there was there was a, a a cow a long time ago, but it recently passed away, unfortunately. Just check this place out. It's so quiet, so beautiful, and that's actually Pulau Ubin. Uh, it's an island in Singapore. You can take a ferry from Changi. Very beautiful island, although I never really went before. 
uh, and that is Malaysia. I swear, you can just sit here and meditate, think about life, look at Pulau Ubin, feel the wind, and that alone is just so great. It's a great way of uh, spending your time here. But there is there's one place we need to visit in this island. And I think the dogs are chasing them. Okay, after 30 minutes of cycling and encountering wild monkeys and stray dogs, we are finally here. Check it out! Doesn't this look like Indonesia to you? For me, it kind of reminds me of Lombok. If there were uh, stalls, selling like drinks and munchies on the road. This is completely Lombok. Oh man, this is just so beautiful. I mean, check out the whole environment. Who knew Singapore had this? Who knew there was a road like this in, in Serangoon Island? I came here a few times, but I missed this road. Just close your eyes. And all you can hear are insects, birds. So peaceful here. You have to come here. Yeah, this road really reminds me of Lombok when I was backpacking. If this was Lombok, there'll be like tons of stray dogs. Uh, so many friendly locals. Delicious food. Um, and I mean, I miss traveling. But you'll really feel like traveling if you come here. It's like, you wouldn't believe this is Singapore. Because I've always thought Singapore is so busy everywhere. No privacy, no peace. But that was not correct. You just had, had to come to these places. Yeah, it really heals you. Just come here when you're tired of life when you work too long but make sure uh, um, you don't bring food because there's lots of uh, wild animals here and if, if you have food they might they might attack you or <laughs> try to take away your food so be careful it's monkeys stray dogs and even some boars so be careful oh and I think we reached the other end of Coney Island yay Yes, that's the east entrance. Ah, so beautiful here. I think this concludes our adventure today in Coney Island. Absolutely a beautiful place. I really recommend you to come here. Uh, if you're missing nature, see some wildlife, and feel the incredible wind. So windy here. Now anyways, if you enjoyed it, please leave a like, subscribe to the channel to get some updates. I think I'll go back, take the metro and go home. See you, have a good day, thank you.